Hey, what up Flavor Family? It's Bobby and last week we made the keto ketchup, which was super duper easy, but I teased y'all. I said that, hey, we can take this ketchup and we can make my honey bourbon barbecue sauce out of it. Does anyone wanna see it? And the comments were a resounding yes. And I think that's a great idea because the condiment series is gonna happen. You guys were for it. And I think it's so cool to take a base of ketchup and make a sweet and tangy barbecue sauce with spices, a little bit of keto sweetener. It takes 45 minutes to make, and then you have it to use any way you want. So let's rock it. Before we do that, hook me up, y'all. Subscribe to my channel because every week we are rocking out some of the best, most tasty meal prepping videos on YouTube, and I would love for you to join the Flav City community. All right, this barbecue sauce recipe is crazy easy just like the ketchup was last week and it starts with one cup of ketchup. This is my keto ketchup recipe. If you didn't see the recipe or the video last week, check it out. All you do is combine six ounces of tomato paste in a small pot, add some water to that along with some apple cider vinegar, some keto sweetener like monk fruit, a teaspoon of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, some cinnamon, cloves, cook that for about 45 minutes and then blend it up so it's light and airy. So let's go ahead and add that to the same pot we used last week. If you don't wanna make the keto ketchup, feel free to go to the store and buy any sugar-free brand you want, but it's cheaper, you guys. It's $3 for 12 ounces of my keto ketchup. If you buy that at the store, it's easily $6, no doubt. And once again, we need a little bit of water to kind of loosen up the party. So I'm gonna spill in half a cup. A barbecue sauce is gonna have more sweetness than the ketchup. And last week I used monk fruit sweetener, which I really, really loved. But this week I wanna mimic that kind of like molassesy brown sugar, honey flavor that we can't get because we can't put those things into our barbecue sauce. But I've been hearing really good things about this brown sugar substitute. And check out the texture of this. I'm gonna add about four and a half tablespoons, but look at this. It actually has that packability, right? and it has that kind of molasses flavor. So I think if you're looking for the closest thing to a substitute, this is it. So let's add four and a half tablespoons. I think it's only available on Amazon. So I'll put the link down below. If you wanna use monk fruit, you can do that too. If you taste this, it tastes just like brown sugar. You don't get that kind of cooling effect from other erythritols. All right, let's set the pot over medium heat. I'm gonna reach for our apple cider vinegar. You guys have the keenest eye ever. Last week, a number of y'all left a comment down below saying, Bobby, how come you didn't shake off the raw apple cider vinegar with mother? And I did, you just didn't see me do it right before we filmed. You wanna get a little bit of that probiotic bacteria in every tablespoon. Let's add three tablespoons to the pot. That's gonna cut through the sweetness of the brown sugar. We're gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and low sodium soy sauce, or if you wanna keep this gluten-free, tamari, which has no wheat. So I'm gonna measure a tablespoon of each. You can also use coconut aminos for this, although you have to add a little more salt because those aren't quite salty enough. But next up, a little bit of Dijon mustard. That'll add a nice tang and creaminess to the barbecue sauce. And then it's all about the spices. So two of the spices we used for the ketchup, the onion powder and the garlic powder. The two new ones are gonna be ancho chili powder and cayenne pepper. All right, let's add a teaspoon of the onion powder, a teaspoon of the garlic powder, and a teaspoon of the ancho chili powder. And then I'm gonna go for a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you like it spicy, you can do more. This is the last ingredient, liquid smoke. Now. I think you need it for your barbecue sauce because it has that kind of smoky barbecue flavor, but there's one ingredient on the back here that I don't like. It's a little bit of caramel coloring, but basically how they make it is they get the distilled vapors from a smoker that goes for eight or 12 hours and put it into a bottle. It's incredibly strong, which is why you only need a teaspoon, but I think it's essential to getting like a proper smoky barbecue sauce. So let's measure in a teaspoon. And here's the deal, look at the color. That's why they add the caramel coloring. It's purely for the look of the sauce. I don't know why they do that. I wouldn't care if it was clear or something. Like it totally bugs oh, me out. Gray. Yeah, maybe it looks gray or something. The same way they put caramel coloring in Pepsi or cola. Like you don't need that, okay? Give that a whisk up. And then I almost forgot, Desi. It is called my honey bourbon barbecue sauce. And you know what? I think we should reach into grandpa's old medicine cabinet here because 
we can afford a little shot of bourbon. Bourbon and any spirits actually have zero carbs because it's pure liquor. There's no sugar added, there's no sweeteners added. So let's tip in a shot of bourbon and it's gonna add that nice oaky butterscotch flavor, but it's gonna cook off the alcohol. It's totally optional. It already has that great color, but as it reduces, it turns into this like brick red, delicious color. Now here's the deal. I'd much rather make that than go into the store and getting barbecue sauce. Because if I turn it around, Desi, can you see the ingredients? There's cane sugar, there's brown sugar, there's molasses, and down yonder is caramel coloring. Do you see that? So there's three kinds of sugar in here. This has 5.5 carbs per tablespoon. My homemade keto barbecue sauce has 2.5 carbs per tablespoon. So it's less than half the amount of carbs homemade. The only, you know, Similar ingredient is the caramel coloring because of the uh, liquid smoke. But besides that, there's no refined sugars or anything in there. All right, let's give it one last mix up and bring it to just a bare simmer like that. And you might want to cover it with the splatter guard. That way it doesn't bubble up everywhere, but you don't want to cover it with a lid because you want it to reduce for 45 minutes. In the meantime, next week, Art is back in town, so we're going to film the uh, Walmart Supercenter video. So hopefully look for that next Saturday. At the end of March, I will be in Australia. I'm going down there to Sydney, Melbourne, and the Outback. If you live in Sydney, I'm coming there a few days early. I want to do a meetup, and I want you guys to show me all the cool places to eat and to see. So leave a comment down below if you leave there, or send me an email on the contact page of the Flav City website. I am beyond stoked to go down under. 45 minutes is up, you guys. Look inside of that pot of goodness. Just bubbling away nice and murky, and look how the texture has thickened up. That is proper. The house smells like a barbecue restaurant, right? Like your favorite place that's smoke and brisket for like 12 hours. I did check for seasoning, but I'm gonna do it again, just in case things changed. I mean, let's be honest, it's just another excuse to try this guy. You guys, flavors are just legit. Perfect blend of spice, sweet, sour, and I love the texture, but we can stop there. Or we can do what we did last week for the ketchup. We break out, Desi, the stick blender or hand blender and whip some air in there. Why? Well, it's already creamy, but if we blend up a little more, it's gonna be so luxurious. So being very, very careful. Ideally, you don't want your wife standing like a foot away from here, but see what happened? It actually looks a little smoother and creamier now. Just pours off the spoon, super smooth and creamy. And I'm telling you, the fact that it's sugar-free is bananas because I can't even tell the difference between this and this one full of brown sugar, refined sugar, and molasses. But let's measure it because I wanna know exactly how much this makes. So let's pour this in here. Is one cup. It's one here. That's my bad. Cup and a quarter. Ten ounces. Thank you for doing the math. I was actually thinking for a second. I'm like, wait, that's what again? <laughs> Ten ounces of homemade barbecue sauce, you guys. Now, as good as it's just tasted right now, and I wish you can taste it, it's gonna get better in 24 hours because it'll have a chance to cool down. The flavors will mellow, the flavors will develop, and it's gonna be gangbusters. It will be so good. This will store in the fridge for three weeks. Now, what can you do with this beautiful keto paleo honey bourbon barbecue sauce? Well, first off, you can make my barbecue chicken meal prep. I take 10 bone on, skin on chicken thighs, roast them in the oven, then shred them so they're nice and pulled and toss it with this barbecue sauce. And I serve it with slaw and pinto beans. If you wanna make the recipe keto, get rid of the pinto beans. You can also use it on my baby back ribs. These are my version of Freddy's barbecue ribs from House of Cards. You take baby back or St. Louis style ribs, dust over a good amount of coffee spice rub, cook them low and slow in the oven with beer and Worcestershire sauce and vinegar, then paint on the barbecue sauce and broil it until it's sticky, or you can wait to the summer and grill them at the end. Absolutely phenomenal but the options are endless. I have an award-winning uh, honey bourbon barbecue slider that I won like the Pepsi halftime challenge with four years ago that I used this sauce on. But hey, condiment number two in the series is done. We have ketchup. We have 
barbecue sauce. I think next up will be avocado oil mayonnaise. Then we're gonna do a version of sweet dill relish without the sugar because we're gonna crush that stuff come summertime. Um, the recipe is down below in the description box along with the macros, the storage, all that good stuff. Check out my ketchup video from last week if you haven't done that. It's streaming below me right now. But I will see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love. Peace, y'all.